Hi, good morning, everyone. Rob with Health Sidekick. Uh, everyone can lose weight. Bottom line, uh, get it, it, the one of the things that a lot of people have been conditioned with, with because of failure after failure when it comes to weight loss, uh, after diet after diet, is that I can't lose any weight, and so on and so on. And you get that that idea that you're somebody that's different and you're you, you're unique. You're not unique. You're like all the other people that are out there. Trying and different types of things like tools you're out there and you're trying this or trying that and you're and you're continuing to uh, experience failure because of a couple of different key things that might be able to help you I absolutely believe that you have to have a why behind wanting this HSK prime number there's a lot of things when it comes to when it comes to overall weight loss H the HSK prime number is unique Remember, it's not like any other site that's out there. It's unique to what you're doing, the exercise you're doing, and the activities you're doing to give you a number that says that if you stay below, you'll lose weight. Remember, if you don't have a Fitbit walking around or tracking every single step, that's perfectly fine. I don't use one myself. I, I, I believe in extra size, not exercise. I don't, but all the activity that I do, walking to my car and so forth, I don't consider it as exercise. I exercise, E-X-T-R-A, is something that I, I do, which means that I'm doing an extra activity for my health. All the other stuff, I'm just living my life. I don't want to be, I, I already know that I need to, the, the most important thing when it comes to weight loss is how much food I'm eating, but that's the most important thing when it comes to actual weight loss. And that's really what we're talking about. Nutrition and so forth, how you want to eat and stuff is going to be left up to, obviously up to you. You have to design that yourself. So, but know what's behind the HSK number. It, the HSK is analyzing how the foods that I'm eating, the exercise I'm doing, how it's impacting my, di uh, my weight. It's different than all the other online calculators out there that use general estimates. This is specific to what's going on with my weight. And it's perfect. It's as perfect as you're willing to take the time to go ahead and log it. So go ahead and go ahead and do that. The, again, the next thing that you want to do is focus on your averages and look at what's going on with my average weight. Remember what I it, I absolutely believe this is the main reason why people don't lose weight is because they really don't know what's going on with it. Before they know it, they're up 10 pounds or they're down five and then they're up 15 and so forth. Because it, it, they're they're focused on this huge these huge goals or on these strict diets and they just can't stick with them, just like I couldn't stick with them just because they're too restrictive. You want to focus on the easiest way to weight loss, and the easiest way to weight loss is eating as much food as you possibly can while still losing weight. The most food that I can eat and not lose weight, my HSK prime number is sixteen hundred and thirty one. The most food that I can eat and lose weight is 1630. I can eat 1630 calories. You can't argue that that's the easiest way to lose weight. It's it, it, because that's the most amount of food I can eat and, lo and still be losing weight. I may not be losing much. That would be like a, you know, a quarter or eighth of a pound, maybe a month, who knows? So I might want to speed that up and maybe I eat 1600 or 1550 or 1500 depending on what your goal is how fast you want to lose the benefit and the freedom of the HSK prime number is remember that's going to be your choice on how fast you want to lose and there will be days that you absolutely eat well underneath it because you feel for whatever reason your body is ready to make that adjustment and there'll be other days that you eat up to it or you even eat over it, it that that's the freedom of having it it'll be a natural way for you to go ahead and lose weight and again, focus on your averages. This is if losing weight is more about brains than brawn. You have a you have a number that's smarter than every single other site and app that's out there. End of story. The HSK prime number is better. It's that it's that simple. It's smarter. The next thing that you look at is you look at what's going on with my seven day. And I'm simply trying to when I click on these averages here, when I click on these averages, I'm simply trying to keep this number, this net calorie number underneath my HSK prime number on average. Were there days in the last 30 days and were there days in the last seven days that I ate over my HSK prime number, 1631? 
Absolutely, I can show you days that I ate over 1631 in the, my last seven days. My point is, though, is that on average, over the average, if you took all those days, those seven days, and added them up, my average is still below my HSK prime number, which translates into weight loss. Let's take a look at my daily log real quick and click on daily log. Again, anybody can lose weight. You absolutely can lose weight. And so we're going to click through this just real quick. You'll see on this day, and we're going to click on the last day. Uh, you'll see that this day I ate 1587, so I was under my HSK prime number. The, the previous day, I was 1667 over my HSK prime number. Okay. So we're, I'm all, the point is, is that it's the freedom of losing weight and the freedom of choosing when or not you can eat at a bigger, and it'll be a bigger deficit. And it'll be something that you're going to go ahead and decide. I was only two calories under my HSK prime number. So again, this day I was 1498. It gives you the freedom to naturally choose how often you want to reduce that deficit by. Get smarter about your weight. And by the way, as you log and you put those things in, the foods you eat, the exercise you do, it's all going to change. And you're going to develop a program that you love and that you're able to stick with for the long term. Because guess what? Your weight and your health is something that you're going to be dealing with the rest of your life. So you want to have a program that you can use the rest of your life. These things are easy things that you can build, have your have for the rest of your life, and then build the foods and exercise you want to eat around that. Hope that helps.